Hi everyone, welcome to my page. I'm Peggy, I'm your Saint 3D Makeup Gal where we use one palette and one brush to create one layer of makeup. These three shades and everything in this palette was custom color matched to me. I would love to custom color match you to your favorite shades or to your, your beautiful shades. To, to make you feel more confident and more beautiful. Saint is cream. It's a different premise. We're going to start with our, our foundation is going to be made up of three shades. The first one's a contour shade and it is usually a darker, it's always a darker shade than you would normal, normally wear. And it goes on the hard parts of your face. The reason for that is because we're creating shadows. We're giving your our faces depth and definition and we're framing the face. So we have it on the, the forehead, right up close to the hairline. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna feel for the roundness of the cheekbone. We're gonna start right at the corner of the eye and go up towards the ear. Again, over here, the same thing. Feel for the roundness of that cheekbone. Start right at the corner of the eye and go straight up towards the ear. Now, why do we not come down further like we used to? Because we're not as young as we used to be. I'm 67 and I don't want to bring attention to any of these, these lines and wrinkles that I have. Coming further down towards the center of your face, that's exactly what will happen. So we don't want to do that. We want to stop it right at the corner of the eye. That's going to lift the eye of anyone who is looking at you. So now we're going to come to the jawline. We're going to define it, but we're going to start just past that jowl and go right up towards the bottom part of the ear. Same thing over here. See, we have that jowl right here. I'm going to go just past that and up towards the bottom part of my ear. Now, we see these two divots I have here due to the jowls. Well, I also have a turkey neck. I don't like anyone looking at that, kind of seeing it, so we're going to camouflage it so it sort of blends in and they notice my chin more so than my turkey neck. So I'm going to start at the divot, come down a little bit further under my neck and connect the two. Now, did you see the shadow that that created? It moves the chin forward and if you have a turkey neck like me, you'll want to do this. If you have a double chin, then you're going to want to start further back and come further down on the neck and up. That will camouflage it to where it's not as noticeable. Now, we're going to dip our pinky into our contour, rub them together. So we have a little bit on each finger and we're just going to come down the nose right into that natural shadow. That's why when you have them touching, you catch that natural shadow of your nose. There we go. We're contouring the nose. Why? Because we want it to look more elongated and we want it to look just a little bit narrower. Now, contour is wonderful stuff. It can be used to fill in your eyebrows, to um, use it as eyeshadow, and also to line your lips. So again, everything that I'm using to do my entire face is in this one palette. Now I'm going to come to the next shade, which is a light shade. Looks too light for my face. Hang with me. This is like a concealer type shade. So we call it a brightening highlight. It goes in between the eyebrows on the forehead. We're going to come right down the center of the nose, right in between those, those two contour lines. Now, what did that do? That made my nose appear narrower than it actually is. So we are creating shadows and we're defining the face and we're brightening the face. Again, our brightening highlight. So we're going to put a little bit on the cupid's bow, the center of the chin, and now we're going to go to the eyes. I have crepe skin under my eye. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting a whole lot of product underneath it, I'm going to go to the inner and outer corner on both eyes. And when we blend, that will drag just, not drag, but it will, it will blend just a little bit underneath the eye, but it's not going to settle into fine lines and wrinkles. This is amazing makeup. 
And it's totally foreign from anything you've ever been taught, but it's really easy to learn. Now, the third shade that makes up our foundation is called a main shade. And as you can see, that is the shade that is closest to my natural skin tone. So I have my contour, my main shade, and then my brightening shade. Now, the, the uh, main shade goes where you don't have any other makeup. We're not building on the makeup because if you do, it settles into fine lines and wrinkles just like the liquids do. The liquids, you come with one shade, then you come back with a concealer shade, then you come back with blush, and then you come back, come back, come back. Next thing you know, you have this cakey look. There's no glow there. And you have all these layers of makeup on your face, which again, it can't help but settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. This is very pigmented cream makeup and it, look how it even color corrects my rosacea. Amazing, this stuff is amazing. My makeup is placed. It's where it needs to go strategically and then we're gonna strategically blend it. Now, what I like to do, the fourth shade that comes in your, your four palette is going to be the lip and cheek shade of your choice. Today, I have chosen Love Spell. It's a limited edition, but look how beautiful she is. Mm. Is this pretty or what? She goes with any, anything you are wearing. She's just a beautiful shade. And I did say lip and cheek, so that means lips and cheeks. So here we go right above the contour. We're just gonna put some love spell right up here on top of the contour. You can put as little or as much as you like. I like a bold cheek, so I tend to put a little bit more than most. So there you go. This is my, my foundation and my blush and lipstick all in one palette. The other thing is Love Spell is really pretty as an eyeshadow too. So there you go, everything in one palette. Now, we cream makeup needs to be set. So how do you set cream makeup? It's so simple. You can blend with a dry brush, then come back and spray excuse me, the setting spray all over your face, and then just tap it in with a beauty blender or perfector sponge. That's one way. The other way is you can put a setting powder on top of it once you have it blended. I like to blend with a damp brush, so I spray my brush with the setting powder, uh, I'm sorry, setting spray, and what that does is I am, I am setting it as I go, as I blend. So let's get started here. Let me get Rudolph out of the way. I like to start at the jawline because if I don't, I forget. Now, we don't want to do harsh blends. You just want to do a soft blend and then drag it down your neck. This is the only time that you blend down because we want everything on the face to go up. Like I say, it's 67, lift, 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 because everything has moved, moved south in my 67 years. There we go. Now, that is, it's done. You want the shadow, it is still there. That's what you want, but you just don't want these harsh lines like I still have that are not blended yet. Now we're gonna do a little thing called stippling. Stippling is gently tapping. And what we're doing is while this makeup was sitting on my face, it warmed to the temperature of my skin. So it is spreading as we are tapping and it's pressing into my skin. If you feel this makeup on your face, you have used too much. It's just that simple. Now we're just going to gently tap. We're not pulling. I do have crepe skin under my eyes, so I do like to, to Flip this brush around and get right there in the corner. And we are just gently spreading and tapping. We're not pulling the skin under the eyes. It's such tender, tender part of the face and the skin. And I don't know about you, but I don't need any more crow's feet. <laughs> so we don't want to pull the skin. Now, you can blend this out if you blend too much. So you don't want to go and blend like we were taught and just blend it all together. Then you'll have a muddy mess and you're not gonna be happy. 
So that's why we stipple and we saved the contour for last. Because, again, we want the shadow that the contour creates. So we're just, well, before we do that, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't do my nose. As you can see, hello, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Teresa, glad you're here. So what we're doing is since we contoured my nose, we don't want to blend that out. So we're just going to give gentle taps, just gentle, barely, barely there taps. So you can see how my nose still looks narrow, like we intended for it to, but there aren't the distinct lines. Now, if you think they're a little too distinct, just tap. You can even use your finger. The warmth of your finger will help to get that back into place. There we go. Now we're just going to stipple across here where our main shade is and where our brightening shade was. Now we do the contour. We're going to come up here and we're just going to gently circle like we did around. Gently circle and we're just going to cleave that shadow. See how the shadow is there, but it's not the distinct line. Go up into your hairline as well. Now I have gray hair, so if it, if some of this gets in my hair, a beauty blender, a, a wet bar, damp washcloth will take it right out. It's, it's not a big deal. It's better though not to have that white line at the hairline, so blend it up into your hairline. Next, we're going to come to the cheek. We're going to stipple up and down on the contour of the cheek. Then we're going to grab that contour and the lip and cheek, and we're going to just stipple it up into the temple. There you go. Now, you see how the shadow is still there to make my, my cheeks look a little bit more chiseled and more lifted. And now over here, it's the same thing. Just stipple along, up and down, then grab that contour and just stipple it up into your temple. There you go. Now again, you see how the contour is there to, to lift my cheeks and to make my cheekbones look like they're more pronounced. And that makes you look more at my eyes, not what I have going on down here. But look at the glow. Can you believe that? It's amazing, this makeup. The cream makeup is so where it's at. Now, something else you can do, uh, which I do because I live in southeast Louisiana, so it's quite the humid um, area, even in the winter time when it's kind of, well, we have two weeks of winter, but it, it's like it's been unseasonably cool down here. But it's a damp cool. So you still have the humidity. So this would be a little bit shiny for me. So I'm just going to take the Vanilla Dust Setting Powder and I'm just going to tap it around with my blush and bronzer brush. And there you go. I'm finished. Your face in one palette. What could be easier than that? How do you get started with Saint? That is so, so simple. What I want you to do is somewhere up here, I think there will be a telephone number and just hashtag match and that's all you have to do. A link will come to you. You need to take a makeup free selfie. I know, I know, I know. I hate makeup free selfies. But I want you to go to a window in your home Look outside of the window about a foot away. You want the, the natural light to hit your face. Makeup free. Yes, I know that's the worst part. Is it makeup free? No makeup on. Catch your face, your neck, and part of your decollete if you can. That way I'll be able to match you to these shades. Like I say, these are custom color match, these three shades to me. Yours may be close, but they'll probably be different. So... You want to look out the window. You want to look into your phone and click a selfie. Then you'll answer a couple of questions in the link, upload your selfie, and it comes to me. It's totally free for the color match and absolutely no obligation to buy. The other thing, if you do purchase and say you're, you're not happy with it for whatever reason, Mail it back to Saint and they'll refund your money within 30 days. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what do you have to lose? 
I know that you're going to love this. You really are. And I am here to walk you through the steps. We can do a video chat, whatever, a, a FaceTime, whatever it takes to get your placement down because placement is key. Again, what do you have to lose? I thank you so much for being with me today. You've blessed me with your presence again. That is so kind of you. You be the reason someone smiles today, and I will see you next time. Bye.